Pip decks are a card-based system to help you build better teams with the Team Tactics deck, uh, tell better stories with the Storyteller deck, and uh, ditch dull meetings with the Team Tactics deck. Now, I got slammed with ads by these things like six or so months ago. Um, and eventually I saw them so often that I actually got serious about uh, wanting to see if they were worth it. So I bought all three. These were not sent to me. Um, and I've been using them at work as a lead designer since then. So I think I have a pretty good understanding of like what they're good for, what they're not good for, and how they've improved process for myself personally. Um, it's an interesting concept. So each each uh, deck of cards has its own role, um, but the, the formula or the system inside of each are, are very similar. So you, you start off and they have this thing called a story, a story building system. And depending on where you are in the process, as you can see, it starts from the top and it goes down. Uh, as you answer these questions, it leads you down a path in which you use the other cards to uh, help you depending on where you are in your process. So for example, this top one says, do you know why you need a story, right? Yes, then I can go down to the next one. If I don't, it points to this red concept card. So inside of the deck, everything is color coded. And the red cards will all solve, uh, will all give you um, workshops based on, on that, uh, that concept category. So there's a whole bunch here. So it's a really easy way to kind of go down this linear path. And it takes a lot of the guesswork out of how to approach a problem. Uh, this is something that I, I recently went through like six months ago. Um, I got put in a position at work where I was, I had a lot more responsibility. I was leading people and I felt a little bit uncomfortable. Like I wasn't really prepared for it. It was like this, this imposter syndrome um, sort of feeling that I imagine everyone's familiar with. This, uh, the workshop tactics deck has helped a ton when it came to approaching these new problems. That, that system that was already predefined just gave me a checklist to work through no matter all no matter what the problem was that i was trying to deal with so it did really help build confidence at work and i think this deck is for it's perfect for those kind of people that just got a promotion or they're just kind of a little bit uncomfortable with their new level of responsibility uh it's really it's really really good for that so that's the workshop tactic uh that, yeah that's the workshop tactics that's my favorite one by far and if i uh, were to recommend one out of any of these it would definitely be that uh, the next one up is the Team Tactics deck. Um, now this one, as you can see here, ditch chaotic mess, design great teams. Since I was getting put in a leadership position with um, some designers um, I, was, I was gonna manage, I wanted to up my game there a little bit as well. Cause it was, you know, I've been, it was an area in which I didn't really have a lot of experience. So I wanted to make sure I was, I was doing it right. So this Team Tactics one is really good if you get put into a position where you don't know a lot of people and you're kind of being dropped into a new team, which happens a lot when you're getting a new job, or if you're just trying to build a new team from scratch at an existing company you're working at, or even if you're just like a freelancer and you're hiring subcontractors. There's a lot of cool exercises in there to kind of build that team, that team spirit and come up with a way to work well together. There's one in particular called uh, the Creative Market that I use all the time now. Uh, and it's a pretty simple system. Uh, everyone jumps into uh, Miro or Fig Jam, whatever kind of whiteboarding tool you want to use. And uh, everyone puts down skills in which they're they're good at, like a secret skill and then like something that they want to learn. And then everyone walks through it. And you end up with like this, this nice visual board of everyone's kind of hidden skills that would have been hard to kind of find out unless you, you went through some of these exercises. And then from there, people can learn skills from other people that they wanted to uh, get better at. So that's one that I that I highly recommend. Um, the next one up is Storyteller Tactics. Now this one here is uh, Ditch Dull Presentations and Tell Great Stories. Uh, I use this in two ways so far. This is the one I, I probably have the least experience with, but I have used two workshops. Um, and it, it, this one is really good if you're doing a lot of presentations at work. Um, it's often hard to tell a really compelling story that hooks the reader from the beginning, middle, and end. And if you struggle with that, there's a lot of cool little exercises in this that give you the framework to, to do that. So if you're doing PowerPoint presentations or slide pitches or, or pitch presentations, uh, you're raising money for a startup, this is gonna help a lot with that. Personally, I used it while I was going through some interviewing processes to try to take a, you know, a dull interview kind of thing and just kind of like elevate it a little bit. And I did think it helped with that. So those were my only two experiences with it so far, but overall, uh, I think there's a lot of value here as well. Um, the price. Now, these things are not 
cheap. They're not cheap at all. And this was kind of my biggest hesitation when buying them. So if you were to get just the digital version, uh, they start at 120 US. And then if you want the digital and the vault, that goes up to 220. And the vault is kind of a, it's a back end on their site. So once you buy them, you get a login and then you can go and uh, watch screen recordings of um, people running these workshops. I think that part is invaluable. So I wouldn't just opt for the digital versions. Um, those screen recordings really helped give an idea of pacing and tone uh, while you're running these workshops. Because oftentimes, well, none of the times, these, these don't tell you how long you should be spending on a certain part in the workshop. So watching those has really helped me kind of make sure I can do everything within the hour time period or whatever the case may be. There's also the complete package. So that's what you get with this. So this is like the physical version. It's 260 each, um, but it comes with the, the vault. It comes with the digital downloads and it comes with the card decks themselves. Now, I don't use the card decks that much, like the, the physical decks, because I'm not going to be sitting here on my desk, like rifling through cards. It was good to kind of browse when I got them, but for the most part, I use the digital cards. Because if I'm in FigJam or Miro or any whiteboarding software, I'm just dragging that digital card that I'm using onto the surface of that of that app so I can reference it all the time. I don't really need these. So I think that uh, the digital versions are really handy. Um, but you know, if you're doing a lot of on-site stuff, then these, these, these printed ones might be great for you. So in terms of the downsides, I think the price is the biggest downside, but I also think it's worth the money. If, if you are in the position where you kind of need these, they do pay for themselves, I think, pretty quickly. Um, they do have a pretty good money back thing. I think they say if you if you don't get 10x your value in a year, you can get your money back. So consider that just like a, if you don't like it, you can send it back, which is nice. Um, I would definitely consider that. The other downside I was thinking about was the templates kind of suck. Um, I don't like using Miro, and that's, at least at the time of this video, that's the only software that they use for these templates. They don't have FigJam templates. Um, they're extremely basic, um, like really basic. So it got to the point where they just weren't cutting it for me. They just kind of looked bad. So I was, I was just making my own. Um, but beyond that, I've been super happy with them. Um, if you wanted to get 15% off, you can use the code MINIMALGOODS. Um, it is an affiliate link but I wouldn't be pushing these if I wasn't using them and liking them myself. So if you can get your company to buy these for you, or if you just had a little extra spending money and you wanted to elevate certain parts of your game, I highly recommend these.